it was about this time 20 years ago in the summer of 1991 that folks in many parts of the tropics noticed that sunsets were more colorful than usual. Just one of the global impacts that could be traced back to the eruption of a volcano named Pinatubo. Mount Pinatubo is part of a chain of volcanoes on the west side of the island of Luzon in the Philippines, about 50 miles northwest of the capital of Manila. In 1991, the U.S. had two military installations near Pinatubo, Clark Air Force Base just to its east and a naval air station just to the south, and both provided weather data during the eruption from distances of about 10 and 25 miles away, respectively. Now, prior to 1991, Pinatubo had been dormant for centuries, so dense jungle covered the mountain. That changed in April and May of that year as a series of increasingly strong eruptions prompted scientists to install monitoring equipment in anticipation of a major eruption. A series of large eruptions began on June 12th, throwing ash 15 miles high, a canopy easily seen on satellite imagery. The climactic explosions occurred in a three-hour period on June 15th, sending debris 20 miles up and in the process blowing 800 feet off the top of the mountain, forming a caldera, a cauldron-like feature that soon filled with rain, to become Lake Pinatubo. Coincidentally, a typhoon crossed Luzon during the eruption, and heavy rain mixed with volcanic ash causing massive mud and debris flows that spread 10 miles from the summit. Now here's a satellite image from June 15th. The typhoon dominates the picture, but if we close in, you can see the ash cloud marked with an A poking above the typhoon with the most explosive plume in the middle marked with a B overshooting even the ash cloud. Weather equipment at the ground also registered the eruptions. Here's graphs of air pressure from both military bases. Now, the approaching typhoon caused the general downward trend in pressure on June 14th, but check out the gyrations in pressure early on June 15th. Each big volcanic eruption produced a compression wave in the air that spread away from the volcano and caused a quick jump in pressure. The time resolution isn't very good here, so it kind of looks like a blob of black ink. But this is really extraordinary to see a volcanic eruption show up so vividly on a barometer. Volcanoes also inject lots of gases into the air, and Pinatubo's global effects were caused by the 20 million tons of sulfur dioxide it shot into the stratosphere, where it combined with water vapor to form a haze of tiny sulfuric acid droplets that slowly spread around the globe. This veil of aerosols reflected a little extra sunlight back to space, helping to explain why global average surface temperatures decreased about a degree in the year after the eruption. It's that thin volcanic haze that also led to extra colorful twilights at many places worldwide in the years following Pinatubo. Fred is back with the extended forecast next.